It's the afternoon on Q101 Merit's Music Mix. It's Jesse Pakulat with you today, joined right now by Justin Picard. He was one of the organizers for the Element Music Fest that went down last weekend. What's going on, Justin? How are you, Jesse? Doing great, man. Thanks again for allowing me to come on out and enjoy the fest. I, I had a blast, man. Yeah, it was absolutely our pleasure. It was awesome to meet you and a couple of your team members and uh, to have you guys on site. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was great times, man. So I know you guys uh, you guys did improve on your numbers from last year. It wasn't quite what you guys were expecting, but I understand it's a good number to use going forward. Yeah, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it wasn't where we wanted to be. In fact, I think it was exactly what it was going to be, and we're happy with that. Um, for us, our capacity, um, just a cap, and we weren't sure we were going to reach that or not, was going to be 4K, just as far as what we felt we could handle, 4,000 people on site. And uh, I think we probably ended up closer to 1,500, which provided a perfect scenario for us to be able to interact with the guests, get feedback, get to really know uh, who was attending Element, and uh, have some special moments with folks as well. The musicians were able to wander around and interact without getting, you know, mobbed by a big crowd of people. And it kind of made us realize that, you know, maybe the perfect number for us is somewhere around a 2,500 person cap. And um, I think that we'll hit that number next year. And I think that's a great target number for the event. Yeah, I think, well, with just like how you guys jumped up from year one to year two, and that was mostly through like word of mouth, we did our part here to getting the word out on the station and stuff. But uh, it was, it's good to see, it's good to hear that you guys did uh, much better as, as far as the numbers go, and I think that momentum will be easy to pick up for next year. Sure. As far as last year went, it was like really testing the water and, uh, you know, just inviting a bunch of friends and family out and a handful of bands, and it was uh, just kind of getting people acquainted with the site, whereas this year was a much more intentional music festival with full-scale production, big bands, bigger infrastructure, and more things happening. So we're confident that going into next year that we'll hit our capacity based on just the word alone that's coming out of the festival and all the positive feedback that we've received. Yeah, speaking about some of the bands, the String Cheese Incident, they did do a great job. They, the lights and everything about their production, it was a, it was a really good set that they did all, all the nights that they were at the festival. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. I've been seeing those guys for 15, 20 years. I met my wife at a String Cheese show. So it was really special to be able to bring it full circle and uh, do a weekend with those guys. And I know they had a ton of fun and they played some rare songs that they haven't played in a while and just some really cool scenarios and special guests. And we were overwhelmingly happy with their output. And, uh, you know, it sounds like they're asking for a return and we're, uh, we're already in talks of, of considering that scenario. Oh, excellent. You know, I, I got to say, um, one of the ones that stole the show for me, because I was admittedly i'm not uh, familiar with a lot of these bands but one of the ones that stole the show for me was brick house they were playing like kind of older style funk like what i was kind of expecting going into it yeah brick house does a lot of really cool bluesy stuff and uh, a lot of cool funk stuff and they um they had an afternoon set where they had a quite a bit of people turn out and and uh you know that was one of the the bands folks were talking about for sure and uh i know they're they're friends with some of the organizers and some of my team and uh you know it was a pleasure to have those guys out and uh, a couple of the other canadian bands too big easy funk ensemble and uh five alarm funk too just awesome sets during the day and really got uh really got the afternoon going and the party started yeah they yeah that afternoon set was great i, I was dancing for the entire set <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's fun isn't it just kind of let loose and uh you know Go with the music. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, it was such a great setup over there, too. You know, I love that the beach was there. Like, they had the, all the camping up at the top of the hill there. It was a really cool setup. And once again, thanks for taking me in and feeding me. That, that was the one that really kind of threw me off. I'm like, holy cow, I get to eat. <laughs> yeah, of course. So a lot of thought went into, like, the site itself. And this is all just run by music fans and output by music fans. Our whole team is just a, you know big group of uh, music lovers and, and we know what it is to go to festivals we know how far it is to carry your gear to hike down a hill and you know so we laid it out in a way that we thought was comfortable for everybody and uh, and <laughs> in regards to feeding you um, it you know it was our pleasure man it's we had a lot of staff working and we had on-site chefs and uh, there was a lot of food to go around for everybody and uh, it was a pretty cool scenario community wise to watch how all that unfolded yeah you know what 
a always consistent good hangout spot was in the kitchen because it always smelled excellent. <laughs> yeah, they were prepping for a bunch of different stuff. So you had the meals not only that were uh, going on or coming up that day, they were prepping for other days for some of the band's private meals. And uh, it was a whole, whole big uh, production in the kitchen, that's for sure. And that was our, our head chef, James, really, really exceeded my personal expectations. And I'm a, a little bit bigger of a guy, so I really enjoy food and uh, I had a great time eating James's food. Yeah, hats off to that guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. You know, I have to say this too. One thing that uh, did kind of surprise me pleasantly about the festival was the amount of families that were there. And it was a really family-friendly atmosphere. There was tons of stuff for the kids to do too. So really great job on that as well. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I think a lot of festivals overlook that aspect and it's just a marathon of running stage to stage and trying to see all the music. And that's not really what we're about. We're about, you know, enjoying the day sleeping in from the late nights, hanging out on the beach, petting the horses that are wandering around the property. And, you know, we know a lot of our, our fans and friends and family have families of their own. And, you know, it's important to us to be able to cater to that vibe. Some of the people on the, on the team of the festival have kids that were running around at the festival as well. And so it's really important to us. And even in the kids' zone, it was cool to see some adults uh, enjoying the crafts and stuff and, and getting involved in, as well. It was, uh, it was really fun and to have the stilt walkers and the people dressed up in costume. Uh, you know, that's, that, that's all really important stuff to us. We want everybody of all, you know, of all ages to enjoy what we're outputting. Yeah, that, like, uh, again, kudos on that. And just watching, like, the families have fun, it was just that, uh, just something that I could build off of for next year, really, as far as promoting the show goes, because, you know, like, I didn't, uh, I didn't really have that in mind when I went there, but now that I know that, it's, uh, it's an easy thing to talk about for next year, the family-friendly aspect of it all. Yeah, now you know, and uh, <laughs> it, for, for me, it was cool to watch some of the kids interacting with the musicians and watching the shows and taking inspiration from that because these are going to be our future musicians. These are going to be, this is our future, the kids are. So if we're not inspiring them to be creative and to have these experiences, then we're failing as a community. So that was really important to us. And yeah, I, I, I appreciate that you enjoyed that aspect of it too. Because like I said, it's a whole big picture thing for us. Another thing that's good about the festival, I was talking with you when I was there at the festival about this, and the um, the time that you guys chose for the festival, the August long weekend, and it's just, I, I wouldn't say in competition, but it's the same weekend as Rock and River, so I, I like how it's it's like an, an alternative type of thing. Sure, and, and you know, it, when you do something on August long weekend, it comes with a ton of challenges, not only with competition, but all the way down to renting generators and staffing the place you know it's it, it, there's a lot going on and and companies are spread thin but we also knew that it provided folks with an extra day to enjoy the music and to stay on site and uh yeah i think that moving forward we're going to be looking at august long again um i know we'll be coming out with our save the date in the next couple weeks but for us that weekend just made sense and uh it ended up working out really, really well. Yeah, in my opinion, I think it would be good to keep it on August long weekend. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we're exploring doing right now. And in regards to being an alternative to uh, what was going on in Merritt, uh, we, re we hope everybody had a great time up there and enjoyed themselves. And, um, you know, it's just a, it's a whole different thing. Our, our, our scene, our community varies immensely from the country community mm -hmm. both uh, both have their place and you know it's it's uh for us it didn't feel like competition yeah absolutely like it was just two music festivals they were both great and you guys did a wonderful job and thanks again for having me and just treating me so well and i had such an amazing time and i'm really looking forward to next year yeah let's do it again i'm uh, we're looking forward to having you guys back out and involving you in next year's process and that's justin picard one of the organizers for the element music festival once again they did a fantastic job over that August long weekend. And I am looking forward to next year. If you do want some info on the latest of the Element Music Festival, they do have a website. It's elementfestival.info.